Better Lear. One of the names we do know. Yes. Afrikaans is a berghaan, eh? Ah, uh, beautiful. Yeah, when they fly their wings from underneath, like that black and white. It's a war dog that just crossed the road. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah, into the bush one time. Three. They have itches. <laughs> Such characters. Yeah. Three miles, eh? Yeah, quite big ones too. Yes. Frisky. The cool weather. Guess where we're going to now? You know. I made the booking. Yes. Satara. <laughs> I was hoping you'd forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to Satara. Um, we've always had good sightings around the Satara camp. We have, yeah. we have. And uh, we are camping. If you were wondering why the weather looks gloomy and rainy <laughs> yes. and cloudy, it's because we're camping this evening. And uh, I, think, I think it's around about a 50 kilometer drive to get there from ba Balule. But... Uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. We'll see the marker uh, on the tar road yes. just to confirm the kilos because the map doesn't specify from Balule. Yes, so we've taken a guess between Olifants and Satara. Yes. <laughs> so our distance to Satara from this point is 42 and we've traveled 5 k's from Balule. So it's about a 47 kilometer drive to get to Satara. Perfect. According to these markers. That's a nice long road. I like that. Yes. A resting giraffe. Yep. Does he have one horn like missing? Looks like it. Or the one is going backwards and not straight up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Poppy, look at the piglets. They already look like big ones. Four babies. Check the male's tusks. Yes. I'm still trying to learn how that trunk works. You know what amazes me is that it is so safe between those legs and those mothers know exactly where it is all the time. And it knows which one is mom. Yep. Well, I suppose it's like us. We know who mom is. Well. <laughs> to them, they don't all look the There's same. There's another little one. Yeah. There. there are quite a few. A big herd. Dumbavati picnic spot. Goed gegin. Waterhole. And there you can see a little antelope the impala drinking, but you can't get closer than this. I'm going to try around there and see, but I don't think we will. How's that though? That, there's no road into it? 
I think there is one there. Well, let's go and have a look. Okay. Surely one has to be able to get closer. Yes. Loads of bookies, eh? Yep. I told you. Uh -huh. Oh, I told you not. Yeah, this is a. Just... Oh, I would have loved to get close. No, oh, this is it, eh? Oh, it's a bit far. It is. My angel. The little one was just born now recently. Seriously. But it has a little knuts for a tail. It doesn't have a tail. Proper tail, yeah. It was trying to nurse now. It doesn't have a tail. Wow. Oh. It has a little trunk, mommy. <laughs> it's the Timbavati River. Cool. It's got a little bit of water in here. Yeah. Closer to us, but the riverbed that side seems quite dry. Yeah. Roedeval water hole with Egyptian geese drinking. Yes, quite a few. Yeah. There's loads of water in there, eh? This tree fell over or was pushed over at some stage, but it just continued growing. How unbelievable is that? Yeah. What a chill giraffe. Yep. His markings are pretty neat, eh? Yeah, he looks just cool. I like him. Him and I have a bond. It looks like it. Hello. The heads still look different on top as well. Yeah, the horns still need to get shaped. Yeah. The one slapping the other one in the face with his tail. There's a young one in front. Yes. Piet Grobler Dam. Yeah. The structure has been erected in honor of and to commemorate ex Minister of Lands PGW Grobler. Piet Grobler was a great grand nephew of President Paul Kruger and founder of the South African National Park System. He piloted the National Parks Bill through Parliament on 31 May 1926 wow. and in doing so established the Kruger National Park. Which we are still enjoying today, 97 years later. Yeah. In later years, he was also instrumental in proclaiming the following national parks Kalahari Gemsbok National Park, 1931. Addo Elephant National Park, 1931, Bontebok National Park, 1931, Mountain Zebra National Park, 1937. Now, you and I always thought Mountain Zebra was a, a young park. Yeah, meantime, it's not. Meantime, it's just a little younger than Kruger. Wow. Afrikaans is unfortunately way too faded. Yes. Interesting. Piet Grobler Dam. And the last time we were in the Kalahari Gemsbok, it was still the Kalahari Gemsbok. Yes. Whereas it's Kalahari now. Yeah, Transfrontier. Shall I just say that Sonia the Game Spotter 
<laughs> eventually spotted a lion without the help of other tourists. Yeah, look at this one. And we can see three so far. I've got them all three in one shot, yeah. In the distance like that. I see. That's great. And another one walked, eh? Hey? Yes. I think I saw about two walking. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that one's also, the back's also starting to move that way. They're all starting to move this way. Slowly but surely. So this is the one you spotted. Yeah. He was lying flat, but there was still enough of him visible to clearly see him. Young male, eh? Yeah, he's still got to develop his mind. Yeah, this was well spotted, eh? My angel. They, they blend into the grass so well. But when they lie flat, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. She is very pretty, eh? And very sleepy. Yep. The eyes just want to fall shut. Look. Rattle pan hide. Okay. It's not too far from the lions, but it's not too far for me to walk either. Yeah. The Cecil Rattlepan bird hide. Yeah. Do you see both? Yes. I like to think of them as two brothers. Yeah. That one's white stripes are much fainter than this one. Yeah. Do you see? Yes. Wow, they're almost not visible. This one's just like Someone took a paintbrush. Rattle pun, water hole. I don't know where the water is. I suppose we'll have to take a drive further to see a turn off. I hope so. Our neighbours last night uh, told us when we were back at camp that they saw a rattle here at Rattle Pan yesterday afternoon. Yeah, that's a badger, eh? honey badger. Honey badger, and they were watching him for 15 minutes, they say. Wow, and we've never seen one in the park. I only know it from a picture, so I would love to see an actual one. So let's hang out here for a while and hopefully he appears. Maybe he's local. Or well, maybe the pan was named after him, right? Exactly. And his predecessors. It's worth a shot. Yep. So we were hanging out there at Rattle Pond for about 10 minutes, but nothing. And it's hot. He didn't want to 
appear to us. One day. Yep. Number 41. It was a nice long drive, eh? Yes. Mr. Bayo. Yes. It's got an interesting trunk. They're fascinating. Yeah. Timbavati picnic spot. Yes, I look forward to sitting in the shade a little. Yeah. Elephants right here at the Timbavati picnic spot. How cool is that? Brilliant, eh? So I'm having my wildebeest patty <laughs> hamburger. Your last wildebeest burger. Yeah, it's stunning. And you're having a bun with Melrose cheese on it. Yes. Bultong cheese bread. Awesome. We grew up with that as a kid. We loved it. <laughs> I didn't, but I just all of a sudden felt for it when we arrived here. Yeah. So it's going down well. Yep, and this is where we are. The Timbavati River. I see a giraffe and an elephant. There's the giraffe that Sonny saw in the riverbed. How cool is that? There's the ablution facilities. Oh, well, not ablutions, toilets. There's the little kitchen. And this gentleman rents out these scuttles for 30 bucks. 30 rand a shot. That's not bad. It's worth it. Tamboti tree. It was a nice little stop. It was a first for me at Timbavati picnic site. Never been here before. And it must be for you too. Oh yeah, well, if it's a first for you, it's definitely a first for me. <laughs> I wonder if it's new or if it's always been and we just never came to this part. Well, they, they wrote there 1999 on that one block that was sponsored by those people. So, 1999 maybe. Okay. We were here five years later, but we didn't cover the whole park then. You can see with the heat waves traveling, that's quite a distance away. But what's amazing is Sonia just said, we haven't seen buffalo today yet, and like 200 meters on there is the buffalo. <laughs> that was a fluke. Stienbokis, two of them. A couple. Do you remember the yeah. ranger telling us they mate for life? Yeah, I remember that. I've never forgotten that. Oh, the other one's missing. What a beautiful little buck. Yeah. Sopping wet little nose. And if you can call those horns. Hi, oh, cutie. This is super interesting on its own, but once I've read it, we'll say why it has particular meaning to us today. 
Sand Park's Savannah Ecology Experiment. In this area, scientists are investigating the role of water, nutrients and herbivory in maintaining the productivity and sustainability of the Savannah ecosystem. This project is a collaboration between Sand Parks, the University of Cape Town and Princeton University and funded by the Mellon Foundation. And... We just drove just past, drove past two, two ve- university vehicles. vehicles. yeah. And they were stopping and looking at all sorts of things. So, yeah. We saw it kind of in action. And we were like wondering, why are there university vehicles here? This wow. answers our question. Super cool. A full two kilometers. Satara. Satara. Looks different to me. It does. Was it always here? No, I just thought the entrance was on the top side. I remember the entrance looking different. There's no name written here. Or only two entrances now. There might be. This doesn't look familiar to me. No. But it's as busy as it always was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only one gate entrance. This is a short neck giraffe. Yeah. Look at the nice painted stones. Yes. It's a nice touch. Well, this is the coming from that side. Never from this side. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Look at the leopard on the rocks. Yes. But I think we always used to stop here. Okay, we knew it was going to be busy, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the same place. All looks very familiar, other than the entrance. <laughs> and it's crazy cars. busy, yeah. Welcome to Marula. Region Satara Rest Camp. With a kudu? Kudu. For recycling. Alright, so the reason we're camping here is that the bungalows are simply too expensive. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, we decided to camp. Yes. Echo Info, look at the uh, amphitheatre. Yeah, very nice. Now I'm grateful that we started quieter places because I think from now on it's going to be wild. Yeah, it's going to just get busier and busier. Yes. I don't recognize much here. To be honest, the trees are huge. Yeah. Beware of monkeys and honey badgers. Okay. Yeah, we are. So we've got to pick one. Yes, the ablutions. All right. And the boundaries are over there. So I think there's ablutions on that side as well. I'll leave it up to you. There's more down there. It's a big camp this. And then look at the side. We want shade, we want boundary and we want ablutions. ablutions. <laughs> So we've decided this is our spot. Ablutions tick, PowerPoint tick. Yes. Shade tick tick. Tick tick. Boundary, no tick. <laughs> but that's okay. But here's the boundary, right? It's yeah, not too far. that's fine. Yeah. We drive around in the boundary all day. 
Exactly. One overwhelming thought comes to mind. The weather is a tad more favorable than the last time you had to do this. <laughs> Big time. Much more relaxed. No drops, no gusts. Yeah. And you're moving quite quickly. Yep. Yeah, please open my vents. <laughs> need it to cool down. Is that a monkey? Oh, yeah. When am I getting a house tour? <laughs> it does not. You first have a bit of mopping to do with the stoop. <laughs> the stoop got a bit muddy. Yeah. Aren't you in the mood for something cold? Yes, I am. So am I. I'm going to crack it. Do it. Well deserved. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. That's a thirst quencher for you. <laughs> I also want to sip. <laughs> but look at him. Wow. He is stunning. Yeah. He is so gorgeous. According to our map, he's a southern tree agama. That blue is so intense. Wow. Although its head is blue, I don't think this is a blowkop kogelmander that I grew up with. I think that was a much smaller one with a blowkop. This one is huge. This is our five-star accommodation here at Satara. For this evening, but for now, it's out on a game drive. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> this is not a road. I know, I'm just turning it into a road. <laughs> I love our little tent. <laughs> We just want to go and check where the old entrance was because this was strange coming in on this side of Sitara. But apparently it's been like this for years now. Do you think we'll find the old one? If this was it over here. Definitely yeah. But somehow things have changed. This was the old entrance yeah. Wow. Um, there's the gate, there it is. Yes, shows you what 19 years does, eh? We've decided to take the famous S100 route. Correct. Yeah, just outside of Satara. So and let's I'm see. I'm excited. Let's see what makes it so famous. <laughs> oh, you have high expectations. I do. Apparently, if you want to see ex exceptional things, this is the road to take. We believe so. So, let's check it out. Everything is exceptional to us. But you know what I'm disappointed about? I haven't seen one dung beetle. But why do you think? Because aren't they a protected species or yeah. something now? I haven't seen one. I don't know if they're seasonal. But yeah. I can remember coming here and seeing them and they used to fly into the car and everything. Yes. I love these reeds.
peaceful here. Very. I just love the sounds. Mm -hmm. Shibotwana Motoho Yo, this guy just walked into the road just yeah. He is massive. <laughs> yeah. He's a big one. Yeah. He comes from a bit of a splash. Yeah. How's the vulture in the top of the tree here? Yeah? The difficulty is it doesn't look like any of the vultures in our checklist in the Kruger Park map. So I have no, no idea. I've got no clue. But all I know is it's a vulture. Yes. This looks very interesting. Oh, I love these little low water bridges. Oh, careful. Whoa. Look at that. Elephant. They're all coming down to drink. Yes. What a beautiful spot. Sure. Just keep your eye on this one at the back. No, this one at the back is fine. Oh. Just crossing over. Splashing me with water now. <laughs> what a beautiful road. Sheer. Was there. I would have loved to stay. Yeah, but I don't want to take a chance. It's drinking water now down there. Are they drinking in the road? They're drinking in the road, yes. They're all gathering there now. They're just where we stopped. <laughs> Incredible. So easy for them, all sizes, to get to the water. Yes, because it's running over the concrete road there. They can just drink to their heart's content. Brilliant spot. Look how many of them there are. There's like six or seven of them. I can't exactly count now. And plus the little ones. How cool was that? <laughs> that is fantastic. And they're not far behind us, they're coming up the hill now. Oh, it's moments like that. Oh. Look 
at these lily pads. Yo. Look at the butterflies. Oh, look at the butterflies. Or are they dragonflies? Right, or butterflies and dragonflies. Oh, and these reeds. Bright red. Maybe they're too small for you. I can't see the reflection. Interesting sign, a road experiment. Okay. Wonder what they're experimenting with. Let's see if we can see. Ah. Uh. Someone's looking at something. <laughs> when I see this, I always just think of lions. Yes, more often than not, it is. Yet. Oh, <laughs> take the feet. Yes, there's one close here. Yeah. That was good spotting. Yes. Whoever saw them. In the shade of that tree, that's where they are. There's about four of them there. These gentlemen say four. And then further back, about six, yeah. with youngish cubs and sub-adults. But yeah. we can't see them. I can't. Can you? No, I can't see them. That was good spotting. Yeah. Here comes the little one. See this small one? Tired of sleeping, wants to play. <laughs> no Nancy picnic spot. Nice stone huts. How beautiful is this? Yeah. I'm gonna leave you in the shade, yeah. Yes. They even got undercover parking. Dry spots which have been working today. Kitchen facility. Bushbuck. Elephant cast. This is not Bushbuck, this is Nyala. Look at this Nyala right here. Crazy.
No one needs a picnic spot. We are on the H6 from Nonetsi picnic spot heading to the H13 which takes us back to Satara. So we've still got quite a way to go. Yes, it's been yes. a great drive so far. Yeah. We are going to Sonop Waterhole. Just to take a quick squeeze. Someone told us there's a resident cheetah here. So we want to see if we can find it. We don't have a whole lot of time. No, we don't. I see zebra. And I see there's a giraffe. Yes. The water hole is dry. And the wind pump has seen better days. That is for sure. So I don't know about Sonop water hole. This probably just relies on rain to be filled up. I still don't see the cheetah. Oh, there's a lot of wildlife here. Yeah. If I was a cheetah, I would make this home as well. Look at those. Oh! They're doing the fighting thing again. Or they're sparring or whatever. I wonder if they're rivals. Don't know. There's a lot of zebra here. All getting excited now, eh? As the night approaches. Your side, my side, it's in the road. Everywhere. such good condition eh? and it's only zebra yep oh they are beautiful <laughs> wouldn't you say like 200 uh, at least look down there Maybe more. There's more than 200. Yes, yeah. I see there. Satara, five kilometers to go. So close. Yes. Nonetsi River. Yes, it's flowing. So interesting which we saw was that here at Satara restaurant it's actually the cattle baron and you can sit over there they've got those a la carte dishes over there and then you've got your other selection over here which is more affordable and that's perfect for our budget and we ordered over there 
pop and sauce and chicken and the chicken strips are served with chips but the peri peri sauce fantastic That's the boundary fence. Ah. And there are cameras mounted there by the Satara waterhole. I'm sure those are live cams. We must check online if one can find those Satara webcams. How's the cheetah? Or a leopard, I don't know what. I think it's a leopard. Cheetah. Ow. So this is supper tonight, we'll see what we feel like afterward, we might order some more. These are the chicken strips I told you about, but the peri peri sauce ones, there's the peri peri sauce and chips, and this is the pop and chicken with tomato sauce. sauce. Mm. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. It's an African wildcat. It looks so domestic, eh? Just the long legs that differentiate it for me. Look at him. It's quite big, eh? Tall. Uh, it's been semi domesticated already, this one, eh? Fox feed it, that's the problem. Yeah. And that's why I insist that we don't feed them. It's only for their good. But it is really a pretty looking cat, eh? So we're sitting here in Satara, where we've pitched our tent, by our light. We put the light far away so that the insects don't come zooming around our heads. But it was so nice seeing that African wildcat come and sit here. We spotted her just now, go to feed her little one. She was calling the baby, she must have called a mouse or something like that, and she called the baby. And we could see the little one, but it was just too far away, and we didn't want to go and disturb them. 
but it was so interesting to see. And we also saw a jackal earlier come past in camp, which was also quite fascinating. But we're preparing to hit the sack. But we just want to say, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And we'll continue with Satara tomorrow morning. So we'll see you tomorrow in the morning. Good morning. I'm sitting in the car. It's 12 minutes past 6 Monday morning. What's the date today? The, I can't see. The 4th of December. In Satara camp. We were camping last night. What a brilliant experience. There were so many campers around. <laughs> it was fantastic. But we're getting a late start this morning. Because we just couldn't get out of bed. And now we're going to go and explore a little bit outside of Sitara and see what we see this morning. Seems like this guy hangs out here all the time. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I think you're as beautiful as a wildebeest can be. Yeah, look how shiny he is, eh? And his friend over there? Yeah. Howdy. See, they're not afraid of vehicles at all. No. No, I think they have their fair share. Yep. Now we get to the blue wildebeest. Zebra? Don't you just love it? Did you call those impala over there? Yes. Whoa, I haven't seen a big group of impala like this in ages. Yes. It's definitely different here in the center, eh? Hey? Oh. With regards to the um, number of animals. Sure. Yeah, quite a big group this one. So we've decided to go up the H14 tar road and then get the first one that goes to the left. I can't remember, I think it's the S90, I'm not 100% sure. And then, then we'll take the S141, yeah. It's the S90 and then the S141 down back to the S100. And depending on what we see, we'll make our decision if we're going to carry on with the S41 or the S100. You said you saw some good sightings on the sightings board on the S? 141. He was in a hurry to get to the side of the road. Yes, he I got such care. a fright. He didn't care that we were coming. So let's take the S90. This is interesting. Mananga Adventure Trail. Oh, this is one of those walking trails that they do. Those guided ones, yes. I would imagine. I think that must be exciting. Especially in this area. Yeah. Lovely to see this water, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, eh? They yeah. are. Fascinating how they lie with their mouths open. Yeah. Look how yellow it is inside. 
He's chosen himself a lovely little spot, hasn't he? He's going to park off there for quite some time. There it says the S41. And then on the map it said S141 and then other spaces it says S41. So I'll um, just go with S41. This version 2 of the Kruger Park map, second edition, seems to have a fair bit of inaccuracies. But I do see there's a third edition in the yes. shops. Um, they sold us this for the most current edition at uh, Punda Maria. Yes. But I think they've updated it. I hope they fixed the mistakes. those ears to pick up sounds that are used like radar systems and they talk about guys okay? yeah this is a huge herd of buffalo wow certainly the biggest one we've seen yes. on this trip few hundred yeah most definitely see I can see the difference now between a female and a male here they yes, are next to each other I can definitely see it and a young one, young ones? Yes. Oh, we're surrounded by them. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hey. All sizes, yeah. Yes. This is fantastic. Incredible, man. Okay, look, that one has a tag. Yes around the neck. Do you see? Yes, I see that. Collar. Poor thing. Well, it's most probably being checked. Oh, some of these things are enormous. Massive, eh? Babs, this is a huge herd. Take this one's even got a tag around it as well. Does it? Is that for tracking you think? Yes. This one. Look at the the horns still go straight up this one. Yeah. This is incredible. Do you think we've ever seen a herd this big? No, I haven't. Wild. Yeah. 
awesome. Oh, this is pretty, eh? Oh. See the little birds walking on these pads? Yes. This is on the opposite side of the Mananga Adventure Trail. I don't know if they drive or if they walk here. What does it say there? No unauthorized vehicles are allowed. Yeah. Reservations can be made at Satara Camp. Okay. Gudzani Dam. That seems to be a pretty big body of water. Yes. Here's the dam wall. Yes. Those are hippos far in the distance there. They are super lucky hippos. Yeah. To live in such a beautiful place. Yeah. We could sit here all day. Yeah. So we've decided to take the S100 back to Satara. And uh, some breakfast? Definitely when we get back. <laughs> but famished again. <laughs> oh, but we did order more food last night. We just forgot to film it. Yes. Those chicken strips and chips were so delicious yeah. that we got a second order for back at camp. <laughs> and I swept them in no time. <laughs> so, the breakfast menu shows a sunrise breakfast, which Sonia has chosen, and a classic for me. And my classic has got mushrooms, I've chosen pork sausages, and we are having them sunny side up. Absolutely. And we ordered to drink two tomato cocktails. And this is where we are sitting having our breakfast. The boundary of Satara. Satara. Don't forget the pokey. There's little impala down there at the water. Tomato cocktails starting our breakfast. So, yes, my classic breakfast with the two eggs, bacon, tomato, potato, rosti, pork sausages, and mushrooms, brown and white toast, and there's Sonia's two eggs, bacon, potato, rosti, and tomato. You're breaking up house. <laughs> Time to move on. This is where our home was. But let me just go show you a bit of the facilities here. The kitchen, communal kitchen. They're pretty standard. Electric stove plates, instant boiling water. Now what's nice is they've got a special sink there for if you come with a camper or a RV or something that's got a toilet, a chemical toilet, there's a place for you to wash your chemical toilets out, which is quite cool. It's a chemical toilets waste disposal unit and then you can wash here. Yeah. 
showers, toilets, bisons, if you like to have a bath, there's a bath here as well, I wonder when last the bath has functioned. <laughs> And then of course it's the ladies and then the disabled down there. Still a lot of open campsites. Massive camping ground. And this is the boundary. I don't see anything. Those two cool little tents. One man. Reminds me of a bivy in the army. Welcome to Marula region. Spatara rest camp. Stop rhino poaching. Yeah. Honorary Rangers. So this is an honorary ranger who caught the poacher. so sad sure this eats home eh and on the other side there is the amphitheater Art wolf and then brown hyena, spotted hyenas, black backed jackal. You can see this is a hippo skull. Elephant skull. Yo. Massive.
And this is the pool area. Satara swimming pool. There's people swimming there now, so I'm not going to go in. Cute little paintings as you enter the camp. Leopards. We saw a lion on that road yesterday. Oh, this is where we saw them yesterday. A leopard so many times around the camp. Today close to Orpen. Yeah. Reception. This is Casper when he was still a young lad. We're going to go look for him now when we go for a drive.
Cheetah. This is the old entrance into the camp, entrance and exit. We're quite sentimental folks, so this is rather hard so for us. It is, yeah, because we used to come in here past the filling station, fill up with petrol, then go down to the reception. Now they've made it that you have to go to reception first and traffic, getting petrol is now out of your way. You have to come into the camp now. I'll never forget that this filling station we sat you put see-through on the windscreen because it was boring yeah. and we couldn't see and we tried that repellent. Yeah, yes. And wasn't it on one of these trees over here that we saw a woodpecker yes. chopping Just away? inside. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Where's the road though? It's gone. Wild. That's interesting. No yep. electricity, no fuel. Yep. I mean, no electricity means no fuel. Yes. And she doesn't know if it's load shedding or what it is. But we'll make it, I think, to oh the yeah, next camp. We'll make it. We might think we're not uh, in South Africa still and uh, subject to load shedding, yeah. but we very much are. Definitely. Satara. Goodbye, Satara. Ah, so that was our visit to Satara. Done and dusted. We'll see you on our way to the next camp. Yes. And we are as excited as we were on the day we arrived. <laughs> Even more. <laughs>